There were only supposed to be one timer. You must have pressed snooze. Well, anyway, it doesn't Joel's matter. Bus, then. Joel and oh, oh, maybe. I thought I could stop. I thought I had stop. Yeah. Well, whatever it is, you did it wrong. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what happened. Oops. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you already did that in advance. Re hashtag remember. Oh my God, I'm so, sorry. so this okay. too, <clears throat> the lettering on that, I just feel like, mm -hmm. um, so, so the cool thing is the glass itself is going to be in the jewel tones. So I think you get the glass in the jewel tones and you say to yourself, okay, certain, maybe, maybe certain kinds of blends. Like my thinking is there are certain blends that like are, okay, so my, I have some sensory processing kits. And I myself benefit from this as well. And that just basically means you, you need some help processing the world around you. You can get overstimulated, you can be understimulated. And so you're always wanting to be at this neutral. But for people who have sensory processing issues, or maybe they suffer from PTSD, or maybe they have other things going on, processing can overwhelm and lead to the engine revving too high. And so you need to bring it into this very thin area of good calm but not too calm right <laughs> just yeah. that just that happy place it's really a narrow field there so there's there are things activities colors um essential oils that bring up the engine bring it yep. up energize energize and bring it down so color wise Energizing colors are in the warms, mm -hmm. and these are in the cool. So I keep wanting to combine, if it's possible, to have let so the energized blend. So you could really quickly be like, "Who I need? What do I need right now?" I so need I'm gonna list all my blends. Yeah. And figure out which other ones I want to develop, right. so I can have an actual list. And then that think can to then yourself, be color coded. right? And think to your, and, and, and I mean, it might not work. It might be like there's like 20 different shades of red, you know. But maybe not. Maybe you say to yourself, maybe in your own way, like the greens are just like. So I was looking today also at like it's the color symbolism, right? And so and the psychology of color as well. So you can find the colors that speak to what the blend does, like, you know, health and, or like respiratory, right? Maybe that's like, you know, mint color, and it's also whatever. Um, so, because color, color theory and color therapy is an actual thing, just like music therapy is an actual thing. So you're, and, and music is kind of doing the same thing. It's like you're either, hey, where am I? Am I too energized and I need to come down? Or am I not energized enough and I need to come up? And so that's, that's why it's kind of cool to have all these different options to be like, okay, first of all, how am I doing? Second of, you know, and what do I need? And second of all, like at a quick glance, which one is going to, once I say like, oh, you know what, I'm kind of feeling a little sluggish, then hey, what would help with that? Or, you know, having, I also really want to do like have a body scan, like a self analysis of like an outline of the human body. And literally you're going through and you're saying like, this is your body, but you're saying, okay, how about my head like how's my scalp feel like is that you know and just have all these prompting questions like dry you know oily itchy you know or hurts to the touch or you know um and then just being like hey here's some things you could do for that or here's some essential oils that could help or here's some activities like try you know then you go to your neck, you know, tight, whatever. And then you're like, try a neck roll for this many minutes. I'm and then it's going to my neck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> my neck, my back. Um, yeah. yeah. So, and you were starting to say about, it, oh, I, I misunderstood you at first. So I've seen these that have the gold lids. Mm -hmm. 
I think that would be just gorgeous. I think like ultimately when you end up like, I think the end goal should be like gold with like the um, gem tones. There's like the fuchsia or like the magenta. There's like the um, rose. There's like the turquoise, you know, or the aqua yeah. and the light blue. And Glass. Like, yeah, all the different colors. Yes. I mean, AKA glass <laughs> but um yeah you know what would be cool too but then the labels wouldn't have the color then if the glass well no not necessarily the glass so the glass would be it maybe in a family of its own or maybe they would all be blue but maybe all the maybe all the dark blues are in a certain family or have a certain thing but then yeah on top of that then you figure you can still do and it might need a white outline. It's like a home. Yeah. Like you still need, you, you can't have too much color. You need to have something grounding it, like a, fra a frame around yeah. it. Um, yeah, but anyways, there's so many different beautiful ways to do it. Oh, it's time for you to go. What do you do? All right, so fun. So there, anatomy of a brand. Color scope it out. What's your color of the day? I'm picking for a color pair, a pair, pair. Mm. I was gonna pick mint and poppy. I like actually that's not what I was gonna pick. Beet mm -hmm. and gravel. Where's gravel? Oh, that's cool. So she has beet and gravel, gravel and beet. And I think I, I was, it's a little obvious cause this is the room right now, but I was leaning towards mint and coral. <laughs> it's just what I'm doing these days or maybe in the blot, lux blush. Okay. So that's all she wrote. Signing off. Yeah. Bye. Later. Oh, cheers to the pumpkin spice. Oh, there's the kids. <laughs> I guess they're walking. Bye.